Welcome to our assembly. I hope you are all very, very well. And even though lots of you little scholars are still at home, I hope that you're still working really hard on that home learning and all the other new exciting things that you've been doing during this time. Now today, in our assembly, we are moving on to our next value. We have already talked about kindness, effort and aspiration. We have already chosen scholars in every year group from reception to year six who got the special class scholar award for kindness, effort or aspiration. Well, today I'm going to talk to you about tenacity and what tenacity means to me and what tenacity means to you. And also we're going to look at some famous people who have shown excellent tenacity and that, that excellent tenacity that they had helped them to do amazing things. So, let's have a look at those people. Oh dear, technological error. There we go. Sorry, scholars. See, see sometimes Miss Bear still has technology whoopsies, even when we're doing assemblies like this. Have a look at these pictures. I wonder if there's anyone in these pictures that you recognise. If there is, tell somebody that you're watching this assembly with. And if there's any adults at home that recognise any of these people, please tell the children. Just give you another minute. Have a think. There's a couple of clues that might help you think about what those people did, even if you don't know their names. Okay, so this lady is called Bethany. And as you can see, she's a surfer. Now I don't know if you can see, but she has actually got one arm. She's had got an arm here. But do you know what happened? Because she's surfing in seas where there are sharks, when she was 13 years old, a shark attacked her surfboard and when the surfboard was being attacked by the shark, the shark bit off Bethany's arm. Now that is awful. And it meant that everyone was worried about whether Bethany could carry on surfing because having two arms is really, really important for surfing because it helps you to balance and not fall off the surfboard. And when she was 13, before she had her arm bitten off by the shark, she was a brilliant, brilliant surfer and everyone thought she was going to go on to achieve amazing things in surfing. But then that happened and she was in hospital and everyone thought she would never be able to surf again. And they also thought that after what happened to her might have made her too frightened to go into the water again. But this is Bethany when she's much older. She got back on that surfboard she had tenacity. She didn't give up. And you know what? She became the champion. Even though she had that terrible, terrible thing happen to her, and everyone thought that she wouldn't be able to surf again, or wouldn't want to surf again, she was determined. She had tenacity. She didn't give up. And now she's the champion. How amazing is that? Let's move on to this lady. I think some mummies and daddies might know who this is. This is a famous American presenter called Oprah. And what, how Oprah showed tenacity is, when she was a little girl, her family was so, so poor that she didn't even have any clothes. And she had to wear sacks, like bags. That was her clothes. They couldn't even afford to buy Oprah clothes. But Oprah was determined to have a better life. And she showed such tenacity at school. She worked so, so hard that she ended up being able to go to a really good school. 
and she actually got a scholarship, which means that she had her education in a very, very good school in America paid for by somebody else because her family couldn't afford it. And she worked so hard at school that she ended up having an amazing career, an amazing job. She became a journalist, a writer, and now she's one of the most famous and richest TV presenters in the world. And that is because she had tenacity. She didn't give up. She worked really, really hard. In the picture over there, some of you might recognise this. This is uh, an artist called Vincent van Gogh. And this is his portrait. So this is self-portrait, a portrait that he made of himself. And Vincent van Gogh also had a pretty tricky life. And he actually died when he was very young. And he was an artist, and he painted and painted and painted. But all his life, people laughed at his pictures. They thought they were silly. They thought that his pictures were a bit like children's pictures. Now, I love children's pictures. But at the time, because this was quite a long time ago, people just thought they were very, very silly. And he died poor. He died without being noticed as a great, great artist. But now, his pictures are some of the most famous pictures in the world. His pictures hang in the most, hang in all of the most famous art galleries in America, in England, in Europe, all over the world. Everyone has heard of Vincent van Gogh. And you might even have a, not a real one, but a Vincent van Gogh picture on your wall in your house. But he didn't give up. He didn't give up in, his, in what he believed in. He didn't give up in the style of art that he wanted to create, even though everyone laughed at him and he didn't make any money. I don't even think he sold hardly any pictures when he was alive. He died a poor, poor, sad man. So it's a sad story, really. But now, everyone knows Vincent van Gogh because he didn't give up. Who recognises this chap? This is Albert Einstein. Lots of people think of him now as one of the greatest scientists that ever lived. But do you know what? He didn't, he wasn't able to read until he was at least four. In fact, when he was at school, all of the teachers didn't think he was very clever at all. And in those days, if teachers didn't think you were very clever, they kind of gave up on you a bit. It wasn't like school today where everyone learns and Everyone always, always tries their best. And in fact, it made him feel a little bit like he can't be bothered with school. But he didn't give up and he loved science. And he kept finding out and learning for himself. And now he's remembered as one of the world's greatest scientists. Even though other people gave up on him, he didn't give up on himself. He showed tenacity. And there's one more person I want to talk to you about. Now you might not recognise that man, but you might recognise what he's holding. It's Walt Disney. And Walt Disney is the man behind Mickey Mouse and so many other famous, famous, famous cartoons. And do you know what? He was turned away with all of his cartoon ideas from so many different places. Everyone thought his cartoons weren't very good. But he didn't give up. He kept going back and showing people his pictures and saying, look, look, I've got a great idea for a cartoon. I know how to draw cartoon characters. And eventually, because of his tenacity, somebody decided to take the brave step of giving him a job. And then he became Walt Disney. And now, Disney films are probably the most famous cartoons in the world. Think about all of the Disney films that you know. All of the Disney films that you've watched. I think my favourite is still probably The Lion King. What's your favourite Disney film? Imagine if Walt Disney didn't have tenacity and gave up. There would be no Disney films. What a sad world that would be. So, scholars, I hope that 
that me showing you these pictures of these famous people has helped you to think about how important tenacity is. If you have tenacity, it means that you will not give up. You will keep on trying. Because you know that if you keep on trying and you don't give up, you might achieve great things. Wow, I'm inspired. Let's move on to the next thing. So, I'm going to speak to our teachers today about having a think about who is showing great tenacity at home or at school. And next week, I will announce the winners. So make sure that you're telling your teachers about how hard you're working and how even if something's really, really difficult, you do not give up. Can't wait to hear about those next week's scholars. Let's see who's been doing really well in our class. Dojo's in third place. Year three with 1,885 points. Year three, that is an amazing score. Fantastic, you're third place, so you're still doing really well in the school. Let's see who's second. Year two with 1,934 dojo points. Amazing year two, well done. So second place out of the whole school, that's a really, really good achievement. Let's see who's first. Take lots of care of yourself and I look forward to hopefully seeing you all soon.